Hey yeah. everybody, it's me, long time no see guys. Uh, <laughs> as y'all can see, my area as usual is hot mess, chaotic. Um, and again, if you guys don't see the little live doodad in the top left hand corner of the screen, then that means that I am no longer live. Hey Lisa, let's see who else. Kimberly, Danielle, hey everybody. Y'all tell me hey whenever y'all hop in, that way I know y'all are here. So, tonight I am going to strip it back down to basics because we have quite a few new members in the group that have been ordering boxes or, you know, or getting glitter and getting all of their supplies and everything and they haven't made their first tumbler yet. And I had one in particular, my friend Lisa, who's watching. Hey, Rachel. And she asked me, because I they were, hey, Heather. They were going to get her first turner yesterday. And she asked me, she said, Emily, are there any videos in the group that, you know, that go through the process of start to finish making a tumbler? Obviously, we're not going to get start to finish tonight because we are starting them. However, I told her, you know what? I'm I going live tonight. Like I'll make sure that I tag you and, so I'm spend you know, we'll, we'll go over it that way. You know what you're doing. And we'll go step by step. I'll do a series throughout the week so that from start to finish, you can see what's getting done. Those of you that are here just to hang out, thank you so much for... For tuning in because I love you guys. Hey Janelle. Hey mother-in-law. So um, so yeah, that's what we're doing. I have to grab out my order forms. Hey Meg. So that I can see exactly what it is that I've got to do because Lord knows I have literally a cacophony of tumblers all over my desk. I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, 11 that need to get started. The only bonus to this is a couple of them are no glitter. So those can technically wait until tomorrow once I've printed decals for them. Hey Peyton! What's up Queen P? So I am going to be utilizing a lot of our colors uh, and y'all know that if it's something that I don't have I like to use Mr. Nola's and then I also have Glitters from a little Muggle Magic, so I'm all over the place as far as glitters go, but I'm also, yeah, you definitely should be studying, Meg. But uh, like I was saying, I'm also what I like to call an equal opportunity glitterer, <laughs> for lack of a better way of putting it. So I like to use lots of different brands, give support to different brands, because, I mean, let's face it, at the end of the day, especially here in what the admin team and I like to call the glitter dome, there should be enough room for all of us to eat at the table. Hey, Michael, how are you, honey? So that is what we are doing. I'm going to grab my clipboard so I can see exactly what I've got to do to some of these tumblers. Now, when you're starting, obviously, you know, if you're brand new to tumbler making, you're not taking orders just yet. Yes, I love you too, Meg. So, as I was saying, obviously you're not you're not taking orders yet if you're working on making your very first tumbler. So, in my particular case, my order forms help me stay organized, and I know exactly what it is that I'm doing on each cup A, B, C, D, on down the line. It just makes life easier. So, whenever you get to that point, either make yourself some order forms that. You know, that has different sizes, different techniques that you're good at doing that you want to be able to sell to people and somewhere that you can write all of your details. Or your handy dandy notebook, like they say on Blue's Clues. Because <laughs> that's what works, you know. Um, and make sure that you keep a list because especially whenever you're working on new techniques or you have a bunch to do at one time, it gets really confusing. Like I, I have, I counted off how many I have up here and I can tell you right now that it's like I, I know what I've got to do on some and then others I'm just completely lost. So that is why I have 
my stack of order forms with everything written down on them. Pick this up because it's in the way. This is Monacaris, which is one of our iridescent micas that we carry on the site. I just have a really, really big empty rue jar that I filled with it because I use this stuff in like every single Milky Way that I do. It's good stuff, guys. If you don't have it, get it. Okay. Start moving stuff out of my way. Alright, so these were two 20 ounce skinnies, so one of these can get glittered white. Uh, Y'all, I really hate... So, here's a common problem when you're spray painting for our beginners. I don't know if you guys can see this. Let me, uh, let me turn on my light over here. But whenever you get too close and your coat is too heavy on your tumbler, you're going to get runs in your paint. Look, you can see those. Looks like little mountains. When you are doing a straight painted tumbler, you don't want runs. You can take a piece of sandpaper and sand to get rid of the runs and then go back over. However, I'm doing glitter on this tumbler, so this is going to get covered up. That is a bonus. But whenever you're doing tumblers like this and you're doing just paint, you want to make sure that your, your coating is smooth and flush to the cup. You don't want runs. So that's one thing. So this one is going to get done tonight. Okay, this one is getting done tonight. Even though Marty, hey Jordan, even though Mardi Gras is not happening in South Louisiana, thank you fucking Rona. Even though it's not happening, uh, I was contacted by a member of a local Mardi Gras crew. It's a brand new crew that was starting up this year called... No, mica in epoxy will not cover runs unless it is a solid colored mica. Um, I have not tested that theory necessarily, so don't take that for gospel, Kimberly. But it would be one to try out, like if you've got, for lack of a better way of putting it, a shit cup that you don't mind throwing away, or one that you can experiment on, that would be a good idea. But... I mean, you, you would have to mix it pretty opaque in order for that to, to cover up. Hey, Erica. So as I was saying, a local Mardi Gras crew that was starting up this year called the Crew of Hera. I actually had to create, using multiple different types of glitter, a mix to do the bottom of this tumbler. So this is one that is getting done tonight. This one, now... Mind you, the, the paint job on it looks like a hot mess. It's all purple and yellow. And this one is going to get LSU colors. It is for an LSU student. I intend on Milky Waying this tumbler. So, like, the paint job didn't need to be precise. So, you guys are going to see as I start to glitter it, the, the differentiation. Now, if I did a precise paint job on this one and wanted to leave the paint as is, but wanted the colors and the sparkle without having to go through all of the process of uh, having it on the turner, laying each glitter, making sure that it's right, and making sure that you have straight lines, then you can use something like Hebe, which I'd, I like to call Hebe a cheat glitter. If you put it on a white base, you get out of this world sparkle. If you put it on a colored base, it shows through whatever color that you put that glitter over. Or if you put it in your final coat, then it adds just an amazing freaking pop. So if you did straight lines on your paint job, you could easily one step it and cover it in Hebe. Mm -hmm. 
Oh, yes, yes, we can definitely do that for an add-on option. Yes, ma'am, Rachel. So what she's talking about, and this is getting off track a little bit, but you guys bear with me. I, if you haven't watched me before, then you don't know, but I'm all over the place, ADD, like, spazoid. And those of you that have watched me, y'all already know. <laughs> so bear with me. But what Rachel is talking about is this little guy right here. This is what we like to call the birth bear mold. Um, something that I used to do in past boxes that I want to try to bring back. Only one person a month is going to get them and everybody else is going to get CDTC coins. Hey, Chris. Is I am going to... Like, I, I make these with spare epoxy. And the reason that we call them... <laughs> Thank you for loving me and my ADD. <laughs> so the reason that we call them birth bears is because unmolding one of these puppies, and I'm going to show y'all with this one because it's like almost full to the top. I'm not done with this one yet. Unmolding one of these is very reminiscent of giving childbirth. After you've passed the head and you're trying to pass the shoulders and anybody in here that has given birth, can I get an amen because y'all know what the fuck I'm talking about. So we call these birth bears and I sent them out in one of the summer boxes. I think it was the, uh, either the May or the June box. I don't remember. I think it, I think it was the June box. And this is what it is like to unmold one of these things. <laughs> you have to work to get the head out. And I used these. <laughs> amen. Amen, ladies. Yes. I used these to signify winnings in past boxes. I would send out so many of them a month until my husband started typing me, uh, uh, listen to me, typing me, printing me up. <laughs> Uh, our CDTC coins, our doubloons that I started sticking in boxes to signify whether you've won free glitter or a discount code. And one lucky person always got up to half, up, could potentially up to half off of their box or their next box. Hey, LJ. So that is what those are. That is what the birth bear is back onto the cup train because we totally went off the wall with that one. <laughs> okay, so this one isn't getting finished tonight. I actually, you can see where I need to sand right here and right here and redo my gold spray paint on those two spots. Uh, this one is going to be for a man, so this one doesn't get glitter. So this one isn't going to be done tonight. So we're going to pop him over here and call it good. Um, this one, however, is for a man, but it is getting glitter. <laughs> it's all good, Rachel. It is all good. So this one is getting glitter and it's a, it's a Christmas present. And the reason that it is getting glitter is because it is going to be Ric Flair themed like nature boy, the wrestler. And he always had glitter on him like he was sparkly and shiny so this one is getting glitter tonight did you have a good nap y'all i have a little one over there with a very hurt chin she fucked herself up the other day on our fire pit has a root fracture at the top and at the bottom they had to glue her chin shut. She's got multiple lacerations on the inside of her gums. Like, it's it's bad. The, the swelling finally went down on her face, but the bruising is horrendous. Absolutely horrendous. So, this one is getting Milky Wade. My roast was out of this world, Chris. Thank you very much for asking. I don't have no friends. So that white and purple one is getting Milky Way, so you're going to see a glitter, glitter swirl applied to that one, too. Jordan, oh my God, y'all, Kimberly. Hold on. See ya, come see. Come see Mommy. You want to show everybody your chin? No? You don't want to show them? 
Okay. She doesn't want to come show them. Chris, I don't know how much is left, girl, but uh, that's lunch tomorrow, boo. <laughs> okay, so that was the black and gold. This one that I said was getting Milky Way is this one right here. LSU. This one's getting white glitter. That one's getting the red. That one's done. That one's done. That's done. That one's straight white paint. That's done. Okay, so I've made it through my order forms. Yeah, she's still smiling. Like most of her other yeah, most of her other pictures, like the ones that I took on Bernice Street, it was really hard to get her to smile. I think it hurts her to smile. Uh, she's chewing strictly on the one side of her mouth that isn't injured. Actually, I, as far as my orders go, Chris, yes, I try to stay as organized as possible because if not, I'm not ever going to remember what the hell I'm doing. But anyway, so the dentist said that her... Her fractures were very, very clean. Like, they don't foresee having to do anything inside of her mouth. And she, uh, she said that as long as she doesn't get jarred again in those areas, that she's going to heal up just fine. So, hopefully, you know, we can avoid any further injury and it heals up. She gets seen again next month. And they also said that she had a couple loose teeth. Like, they weren't, like, uber loose, but they got jarred whenever she smacked her face on the fire pit so I'm currently eating those ruffle chips I tried earlier at your house had to get two bags one for me and one for Bray yes indeed you know I still ain't tried the first one my kids were munching on them Thea was munching on them she said they were hot but she kept eating them thank you brother-in-law thank you she really needs it I didn't really post a whole lot about it on Facebook because like I, mean, I was in the middle of painting the she shed the glitter garage that everybody has seen me talk about so far and like I, I was on the ladder whenever it happened and all I heard was my baby screaming and I went into full mama mode like I was in a tank I was still covered in paint I grabbed her Grabbed my purse, grabbed my keys, grabbed my phone, and hauled ass. Luckily, we only live a couple of minutes from the hospital, so I was able to get her there quickly, and they were able to get her assessed. And then the next day, right. it was back-to-back -back dentist appointments to actually assess the damage that was done inside of her mouth. So, with that being said, let's sling some glitter. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to go into my box of CDTC extras because everything that is like extra instead of putting it into stock I keep it it's myself <laughs> um, and that way I can utilize it and not have to take away yep. from what you guys want to order yeah and otherwise I mean if you get everything on your list <laughs> yep exactly give people a reason to run it to each other and give everybody else the offset this is my beautiful little box of tricks as far as my glitter goes. So I need to pull, as a matter of fact, I need to get down that mix while I'm talking about it before I forget for the crew of Hera Cup. And here it is. This one took a little CDTC, a little Mr. Nola's, and a little Muggle Magic to actually create. Yeah, yeah, no problem. Nick, your brother is pre-diabetic and on medication right now too. So, and he's a, he's lost 16, but between 16 and 20 pounds so far. Between 16 and 20 pounds so far. Okay, so I'm gonna go in here and grab the things that I need to grab. Um, I need to get our Aether, which is our pearl white because that's going on one of the white tumblers. And I believe I'm going to use Hebe on another. I think I'm going to use Aristeus, which is from the November box, guys. We didn't do the live because I literally had so much shit go on 
in the month of November that I didn't get around to doing the live, but I'm going to hold a contest for everybody that has worked with their November box so far. Um, I will post about that later tonight. I so I think Aristeus and Hecate from the October box for the LSU Cup and maybe a Chunky thrown in there to, to try to break shit up. Actually, yeah, I think that's a really good idea. Let's see. Y'all, I have so much stuff yeah, up here. It's a mess. A I'm going to use Leto on another cup. Is this it? Yes, it is. I'm going to use Angelia as a chunky to just break stuff up on here. Hopefully, I've got some more. Otherwise, I'm going to have to pull from stock. I think I do, though. Ah, and I am debuting one of our colors tonight from the December box that is shipping out tomorrow. This is our red from the December box, and it's going to get used on this red tumbler. Y'all can see, like, how close <laughs> that glitter is to the paint. Like, it, it's freaking awesome. I cannot wait for you guys to get your boxes and to delve into all of that glitter. It took so damn long this month because November's shipping schedule really threw us off track. And I had to, you know, I think I'm going to use some of that on that LSU cup too. I had to juggle a lot of things in order to make, oh, look, there's more Angelia. We're good. I had to juggle a lot of things to make stuff work for the shipping schedule. Oh, and I'm really thinking that come January where if we're not a hundred percent back on track with shipping we are going to be dangerously close and come February we will be 100% back on track so with that being said you know I, it's it's been a process and I had a supplier that really dropped the ball on me again they said that it was due to um, Due to the gloves inside of the kits, they said that customs wouldn't let it go through. And I waited, and I waited, and I waited, and I waited some more. And my shipment of those supply kits was stuck in Hong Kong for two weeks. And finally, after it being stuck in Hong Kong and the shipment not moving and me not hearing anything from the supplier, there was a lack, massive lack of communication. I finally got in touch with him and made him refund me, and I built the kits that are going into y'all's boxes tomorrow. Another thing that we are working on, and I'm really hoping that it happens the way that I want it to, is new packaging for the boxes. That is going to be like massively awesome. I don't think that I need a whole lot more. I think I'm going to try to find one of my lighter purples for that other purple Milky Way. Yeah, that's Urania. I cannot wait to be in the she shed, you guys, so that I can actually organize all of this stuff. Because right now, it is more of a hot mess than I am. Right, right. I, I really thought I was going to have splinters from, that, from those damn things, the way that I was moving them around and stuff. Girl. <laughs> okay. So, I think that I have everything that I need. And I think I'm going to grab Eos from the March box because it's going to go really good on that yellow. So now I just have to move all my shit out the way up here. And look, that's another bag of Hebe, y'all. I always have a bag of Hebe on hand. 
always, always, always have at least one or two bags of Hebe up on my desk. And I think I want some Mount Olympus. Yeah. So, another thing that I'm going to show you guys, especially for our noobs that haven't done anything before. Did you just use the word noob? Yep. Wow. Why? Why? No reason. Nothing. Really? <laughs> Y'all, he's a dick. Well, Erica, you can always come back and get more. She said there's no toilet paper, Lessie. I know. Okay, so for all of our beginners, since I used the word noobs and my husband went, wow. Um, these, I like to call them honeycombs. Some people call them revolvers. Right, Erica? That was definitely sus. Yes. Yes. Anyway, so I like to call them honeycombs. Other people like to call them revolvers, but they are foam turner inserts, and you can pick them up on Amazon. These things are freaking amazing. They hold your they hold your tumbler like super super snug. You don't have issues with the PVC. Like these kick ass. Oh, yeah. And you just pop them inside of your cup like that. And then you take your turner attachment, pop it into the hole, and there you go. Cup chuckage. This shit is awesome. I love these things. Um, I have not had any issues with cups actually falling off of the turner with those things as opposed to with the footballs like oh, yeah, I used to have. I so over over you want Whatever something good and quality to actually it's hold your stuff on there. The honeycomb is where it's at. So I need to get all of, and they do come yeah, in different sizes. Long. That's another thing. They do come in different sizes. They come in half inch and three quarter inch like this one's a half the one that I just did was three quarter and they come in multiple different cup sizes so the 20 ounce one works for 20 ounce tumblers oh no Rachel okay so um I'm working on that, Alicia. We've got to get one of those tumblers in in order for my husband to be able to measure it and actually build a part for it. So just bear with us. Unless you can come down to Morgan City and bring it so my husband can get measurements off of it. Unless one of my local people has one of the speaker tumblers. So how do you keep the paint from getting inside the cup? So there's a couple of different ways that you can that you can go about that. It depends on what you're using to hold your tumbler or if you tape off the inside of it. Some people use plastic solo cups. I have a paint table. Uh-oh. No, but uh, I have a paint table that I stick my tumblers on. And I just turn my cups around until I get to the top. And sometimes I still wind up with a little bit a little bit of paint on the inside. And then there are some yeah, painting techniques yeah, that you're going to do where you wind up with paint on the inside anyway. Because you've got to hold your tumbler onto a chuck in order to, like, position yourself at whatever angle you need to to get, like, diagonal lines and yeah, stuff on it so I, mean, I you either wind up with paint on the inside of your cup because you didn't freaking uh you didn't tape it off or you tape it off and you don't have that issue one way or the other so this is one that i haven't done before i've got a handled uh cocoa mug that i've got to do this one's gonna have drips on it so I need to consult with Miss Cody, which is our drip queen. Yeah, well, yeah, make one there. I mean, uh, so I wonder what's uh, going to fit. 
I got an extractor, a soil extractor set up over here. I can just run right outside the basement. In that one. A full thing of sand and bring it back in. Let's see. It's going to be snug, but we're going to make this 20 ounce one fit. And as long as it's not too snug, it will. So whenever you're doing these, by the way, you want to go easy on the epoxy, especially in the handle areas. Otherwise, you're going to wind up with a goopy mess. Oh, that's a good tip, Kimberly. I love a good magic eraser. Yes. Hold on. What the hell is this one for? Did I make those stockings for the kids? Yeah. yeah. Just don't touch them, okay? But why are you going to make them without me? You were sleeping. But why? Why? You was asleep. We'll do some tomorrow, okay? Yes, we can make one for Ava. Y'all, she's so worried about it. <laughs> Where did I put my clipboard? Because I need to look through that again. Those are skinnies. For a pair of 30 ounce. 30 ounce. 30 ounces. 30. Okay, I don't remember what that one's for. It's probably in another round of orders, so that one can get stuck to the side. Plain white, plain white, solid glitter. See, I, and I, I go through this process the entire time that I'm working on stuff because I forget. Was it, Erica? Like, seriously. Uh, I'm really, really serious right now. <laughs> like, I have a bunch of other orders to do after these, so. Okay. Shit's crazy. Hey, Annette, I'm going to be working on your cup tonight, girl. Erica, don't do me that. Like, I really thought it might have been your cup. <laughs> yeah, that's something that they need to take home. <laughs> okay, let's see what's next. White glitter, white glitter. Third. What you want? As a matter of fact, Annette, this one's yours. Erica's always picking on me, Annette. She always fucking with me. <laughs> And y'all, I'm sorry for the language. I have a really bad potty mouth. I probably should have warned y'all in advance. <laughs> There's that one. Annette, don't you know that Erica and I are in-laws already and our, like, our youngest are still toddlers? Because my, my baby says that Colton's her husband and and Colton says that he's going to marry Thea. So we already yes. in-lawing it up. Serious, Mom? Serious, dump? I got to tell everybody about my son-in-law. You're jamming. I'm what? Jamming. 
I'm jamming. No, I'm not jamming. Mama ain't got no music. I wish I was. Tell them what Colton brought you today. Yep, Colton brought her roses today, y'all. And when her sunshine, which is what the kids call my brother-in-law, Randall, when he asked her if her boyfriend was the one that brought them to her, she said, no, that's my husband. So, <laughs> she is something else. That child is every ounce the hot mess express that she was born to be. Did I put, I put the whole wrong one in this one. No, for real though, y'all. Erica's my baby. I love me some Erica. She has been such a good friend to me. And, like, we literally met on a video game aisle in Walmart all them years ago. And she was look. Alright, so her son was getting into this game called Skylanders. And my son had been into it. Like, we were like two games in already. And she's, she's standing there looking like a deer in headlights. She didn't know what to do. She didn't know what to get. And I was there picking up some new figures that had just dropped for my son. Mama, could you tell me she could have movie? Put on fire movie for her. And she, uh, so I'm like, are you new to this? And she said, yeah. So I start showing her the ins and the outs and the ups and the downs and what she needed to get. And we became best friends after that. I remember she would come up to the house sometimes and she would play the game. No. I love me some you too, girl. All right. So I think I've about got this. I have one more. Nope, I sure didn't know she was your sister-in-law. Okay. All right, one more cup to put a chuck into. And like I said, the 20 ounce ones work. Uh, you can turn it up a little bit, okay? The 20 ounce ones work for the 30 ounces. You just wanna Make sure that they're not already compressed like that. Okay. So we have everybody in the pool ready to go. I'm going to move this so that I can get to what I need to get to. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven that we are glittering tonight. Okay. So I like to lay down brown crafters paper so that I can keep my area as mess free as humanly possible, which is not very humanly possible for me. You see my area. This is three years worth of crafting and cup making and all kind of shit all over my desk. So, but you know what? I've heard that some of the most creative people are messy, so I'm going to roll with it. We'll turn it up a little more. So, another thing... That I like to do when I'm glittering tumblers because it just kind of helps make the flow go a little bit easier. Is I like to. Yeah, yeah. Where is my craft paper? Right back here. I like to start with the lightest colored tumblers first and then work my way down. 
it just no, you don't have to, to me it helps it's because if you wind up with a little extra fallout from a darker color it it doesn't show and another thing that I'm going to do is that red one is going to get saved for last because we have a saying about three things that are the devil here in CDTC. Mod Podge is the devil, or it's the devil's glue. Chunky glitter is the devil. Red glitter is the devil. Because red glitter will get on everything. You could be fucking with red glitter and have it as far away from everything else that you are working on everything you work on is going to wind up with red glitter on it so bear that in mind and I'm going to put down two pieces of paper so that I protect my keyboard as well That's right, you do refuse to work with red glitter, don't you, Erica? I forgot that. I need to move this. Oh, my Okay, so, safety first. When you're going to go to mix epoxy, gloves if you got them. I know that this pandemic has made gloves either hard to come by, non-existent for some people, or way too expensive to fucking get. So, I mean, obviously, it's one of those smoke them if you got them kind of things. But, gloves. Some people like to wear masks or respirator masks, stuff like that, whenever they're working with epoxy. This is literally what I like to call one of those play at your own risk kind of things. Um, and the reason that I say that is because it turns into more of a personal choice. Like, you know what you're doing, you know the risk is there, it's a matter of whether or not you're willing to take it or not. That's what it is. Um, so tonight I am going to be working with... Thin viscosity artist resin because it's what I have on hand right now. I'm waiting on my medium viscosity to come in from CCDIY. I know that for the longest time I pushed Pro Marine. I'm like, oh my god, Pro Marine, Pro Marine, Pro Marine, Pro Marine. Well, I started playing with CCDIY when our admin team took place in the scavenger hunt that they had right before Thanksgiving. And I fell in love with it. This stuff is freaking awesome. If you do not have any CCDIY yet, and you were planning on ordering a January box, A, I suggest that you order it sooner rather than later because I am going to be shutting down orders this week. Mommy, B, this. eyelash tweezers. I like tweezers. Yeah. But wait, that's a From Jammy, she gave them to me. You want to tell everybody hi? Yes. Okay. Hi. You tell them your name? My name is Eileen. Her name is Thea Eileen. You want to show them your chin? Mwah. I could maybe wait until Friday to close out orders, but that is literally going to be the latest. Miss Erica said, hey, daughter-in-law. Hey. Tell her, hey, mother-in-law. Hey, mother-in-law. Mommy. What, baby? Can you sing fun of Christmas, please? Huh? Can you sing fun of Christmas, please? What about it? It's sing fun of that fighting. You did it already. Let mommy work, okay? Can I do one more? Later. Yes, my poor baby. So anyway, I fell in love with CCDIY. I had a Tumblr that I had to complete in one day. And that was when I decided to bust out with my CCDIY samples that I had. And I used Facet and 
the thin viscosity that I have right here. And that stuff was like magic. Five hours, you guys. Five freaking hours, and I was doing my final coat on that cup. So if you're working on a lot of cups and you're unsure of how fast you can get stuff done. So the thin and the medium viscosity is literally the thickness of that epoxy. And medium viscosity is just a little bit thicker than thin viscosity. And I... I'm not 100% sure on this particular part, but I want to say you might have a little bit more working time with the thin viscosity than you do with the medium viscosity. However, I'm not sure. I will ask somebody in the CCDIY group and get back to you on that one. Uh, I don't know. It might be, baby. But yeah, that fast set was awesome, and that that right there sealed the deal for me. I have never been able to do a cup that fast before, even if I wanted to. I wasn't able to do it that quickly. And CCDIY made that possible. So I am all pro CCDIY now. Now, like I was saying, if you're unsure on how long it's going to take you to work with what you're working with, then I would not suggest mixing up this much at one time. Mix what you need per cup. And I have a lot of cups to start, so I'm doing 30 mils of each component. Well, I did use it on white, and hopefully it don't yellow too quickly. But I did use the uh, the thin viscosity on top of it. Oh, wait, no, I think I used medium on top of that one. I don't remember. But I, which, whatever I used on top of it had the UV protectors in it. So when you're mixing your epoxy, um, you want to make sure that you thoroughly stir it. You want all, both components completely mixed together. You don't want any cloudiness left to it. By the time that you're done mixing it, you want it to be crystal clear. Some people say that whenever they're mixing their epoxy, like they whip it up like a mad woman, like they're trying to make whipped cream. Uh, if I'm in a massive rush, I do that, but I try not to because the more gentle you are stirring it, the less air bubbles you're going to get. And it also matters what type of implement you are using to stir it. Popsicle sticks will give you more air bubbles. There's just something about the wood that just releases them once they hit that epoxy. They're good for a quick stir or if you're mixing in a colorant. But he said no. you really want something plastic or metal to start with. Okay. Which, by the way, fun fact, you guys are getting some of these in the kit that I had to build for y'all for the December box. Because I figured since I had to build the kits on my own from scratch, you guys were going to get what... I deemed my favorite essentials. I use a metal stir stick and I mix like a mad woman. <laughs> like if I'm in a hurry, I'm mixing like it, it's diary of a mad crafting woman up in here. Okay? Like if I'm in a really big hurry, if I'm trying to get it done before bed. If I'm trying to just get moving and get stuff flowing, then I do that and then I'll hit it with my heat gun. What are you doing, crazy? Camera's making a video and she keeps 
teenagers and preteens. I don't even get to do it that late because if it's past 10 o'clock, it's way past my bedtime. Okay, so I'm going to use this manila envelope that I had a letter come home from school in. because it is going to catch everything and then I can bend it the way that I need to. Oof, Rachel, you feel it. Your oldest is 17. Yes, Lord. Okay. So, my solid white cups. This one is going to get Aether, which is the white that you guys are getting in your December box. I probably just put way too much epoxy on this. And I'm weird, y'all. I stand up to epoxy my cups. You literally only need about two mils worth of epoxy. And you're going to stretch it over your cup. I just put way too much on this one. So I'm really going to have to heap the glitter on it to make sure that... It doesn't soak into the epoxy and wind up falling. I also go through gloves like a mad woman. Some people like to use Loctite whenever they're doing their glitter coat. Some people like to use um, Mod Podge whenever they're doing their glitter coat. I... Some people have even used spray paint to do their glitter coats. I just personally really like the epoxy method. I'm just going to stick my bottom right in there. So, cup number one. The other one was probably 100. Probably got ran over. That's going to be a big cup. You do not want to put so much epoxy on there that you have to spin your cup. Like I said, I've seen some people do it, Rachel. I don't think I personally would or that I would like it. But some people use that method to adhere their glitter. More power to them. your brother they are okay this one I'm gonna use Hebe Hebe for those of you that don't know is CDTC's custom opal mix I mix that one by hand myself and he be his life. Like, what can't he be do? Okay, so see, this is a much thinner line of epoxy that I just put on. You guys can probably see a little bit better with that, uh, that light off. Mommy, 
What do you mean the wet method, Kimberly? You see, and you know you've done it right when you have to work, but you can stretch that epoxy all over your cup. You're gonna get just the right amount of coverage. Without having too much and you will not have to spin that tumbler. Hey, Marissa. All right, this one's covered, and we're going in with Hebe. Well, I wonder if I turn this big light out if you guys can see better. Oh, okay. Hang on here. We might be getting somewhere. Oh, now y'all can see it. What? Yep. Oh, I haven't done that method yet. What I like to do with chunkies, if I'm not using them in a swirl, is I like to... And this is what I typically like to do. It's not what I always do. I like to do my flood coat, do a base, like whenever you're doing your glitter coat, do a base coat that matches your chunky with glitter. And then when you do your flood coat, lay your chunky on top because it sinks into the epoxy. Yeah, you see that Hebe now that I turned that big light off, huh girl? Feeling like Rihanna up in here talking about shine bright like a diamond. Because she sure is right now. Y'all. Oh my God, I think I just found my new favorite way to video doing glitter on a tumbler. We got that new light. No, look at this. I know. But I'm just saying we have that new light. No, I don't need that new light. I turned off that big light and just turned that one on. It looks better under that light. Hold on. I'm about to scoop some more Hebe into my bag. And I'm just making sure that I'm getting the rim really, really good. Leave him alone. And that's fine. All right. The butt is covered. Y'all see Hebe. Okay, Hebe has been laid down, and we are on to the next one. So the next one, I am going to use Leto. Leto is another one of our opals, and I haven't used her before on anything. I don't know if you guys can actually see the opal or or if y'all are just seeing the sparkle, but the sparkle is unreal. My 
thank you label was making it hard to open. Get another glove. And this is going on our cocoa mug. Love you too, baby bear. Super, super thin amount of epoxy. I know if Danny's watching, like, Leto is her go-to. That is her shit. Make sure that I catch the handle. more because I want to be sure that I catch everything what are you watching doesn't sound like a very nice YouTube channel <laughs> and now we're going in with Arletto. Mama, I talked to you about it in fall one time. Look, Mama, it's the same thing. Oh, Mama. no, right. Okay. Let me see, look. Now you know the cheese. Oh, no, It's just Cameron, Odin. I want to make sure that I catch the inside and outside of that handle. We want glitter all over it. A while. But if you take out his water bed, take out all of his forms. Mama. What a There's two Bretsmiths knitting, hiding in the back back of it. Drag it. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Yes. Y'all can see the sparkle on this lady. She is beautiful. <laughs> and she goes over here. So, does anybody have any questions so far? All right, Lita can go to the side. Or Leto, sorry, not Lita. And actually, you know what? I'm going to keep her out because I'm going to use her on Annette's tumbler. I don't know if you're still watching, Annette, but this one's for you, girl. So we've got a 30 ounce. Um, so I know that you can't really see it because of the way that the light is hitting. I'm going to turn the big light back on. But the difference is that Leto is a regular opal that has, hold on, where's my, uh, where's my book? I can tell you exactly what shifts Leto has to it. Leto is a gold green iridescent, and Hebe is a custom mix iridescent. Okay, so I have this little cup out right here, which is the custom mix that I created for the base of Annette's cup. Put my epoxy down. What a. What you mean? It's not turned up. That's because mommy's live. I 
it's beautiful. It really, really is. You can see the difference in the two. A lot of opals, if you, a lot of opals, a lot of people will say look the same. And they really, really don't if you look more closely at them. Working my epoxy. <laughs> okay, so we're going to go in with Leto first. And you see, it's it's harder for y'all to see with this light, but man, hey, oh, do you she is that, uh, beautiful. And I want to use her because she has that green and gold, and it almost looks like a little bit of purple in that iridescent. Turn that light off. <laughs> okay, I'll shut that light off, girl. And so I'm working my way down, and I'm going to stop at a certain point. So that I can start adding my chunky. What is it? The blue point soda. Yes. You can play with the blue one, just don't take the silver one. Okay. Yeah. So I'm going to. Hey, Cody! I'm putting my Leto back in. Yes, that's a beautiful poinsettia. <laughs> She's showing y'all the poinsettia from the tree, y'all. Yes, we do need Heavy and Microfine. This was not Heavy, though. This was Leto. So now I'm going in with my custom chunky mix. And this is a mix that I created specifically for this tumbler. I'm about to have to put the fall off back into my little cup. This is going to be a crew of hair a cup. I created a peacock colored mix using some CDTC, some Mistanolas, and some Muggle Magic to get the colors that I needed to create this cup for a very awesome local lady and I'm just gonna take my fingers over this chunky glitter and I'm gonna pat 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 because I want it to lay down more and once that epoxy starts getting a little bit more tacky you can take a piece of parchment paper or wax paper and you can actually press it into that glitter to make it lay down some more <laughs> Alright. I'm in a couple more of those heavy bags. 
this one's going on. And next we are going in with our red. And then we're going to do our two swirls. Start using the other side of my, my envelope. Cody, I'll have to make you a KC Royals cup with those colors. Okay, so the red that I'm using, guys, this is from our December box. It's going out tomorrow. This is Opa. It's a bright, Christmassy, metallic red, and it is going to be perfect for this cup. And you see, I still got plenty of work time with this. Not too much, though. Yes, the devil's spawn. <laughs> oh my. When you get to this point, you can always, I don't know how the wind is over here. It must have died down. We've got our front door closed. All right, so we're going in with Opa which is a bright Christmassy red. Damn. Must be pushing that front through. Whenever I was standing outside talking to Chris, she whenever she came to uh, pick up boxes, that temp was starting to drop. On my phone, I said it was zero degrees over here. That is not the case. Always make sure that you catch your bottom. No naked butts. This is the red from that December box that y'all are getting, y'all. Isn't it freaking stunning? I need snow in my life too, Erica. I feel that on a deep personal level. Like that year that it snowed here, like that was everything. Okay. So I have two swirls to do that are going to turn into Milky Ways. So here's the first one. 
and I have to adjust my camera so that y'all can see what I'm doing. And I need to put down some paper. And this one is going to be all purples and whites. When I'm doing a swirl, I like the cup spinning in my direction and I really just fucked up and used that red glittered hand luckily this is a Milky Way so I'll be able to cover it Changing out gloves on a sweaty hand is not easy. Just saying. No. When it starts getting to this point, you're kind of forced to use more than you want to use. But that's okay because you can equate the glitter to like soak it up and it balances out, if that makes sense. This is my tilt turner from MH Turners. Y'all, they have awesome, awesome products. I'm gonna move this epoxy cup to over here real quick. And I'm gonna start glittering. What are y'all doing to him? Nothing. He hasn't even noticed her. He wanted to let the flowers. Y'all are rotten. You know that? Alright, so that was Urania Thin. And I'm going in now with Angelia, which is our chunky opal and thin hollow mix. And then I actually think I'm going to take some of the same mix that I used on the Crew of Hera cup to add some depth. And whenever you're doing swirls, it's literally a, just a matter of waiting for that turner to come back around so you can get your even lines. And when I'm doing stuff like this, like I said, I like for my, for my turner to be turning in my direction. 
Like, I like it to be spinning towards me. I think I'm going to go back in with Urania again. And so another thing that I like to do whenever I'm doing swirls is whatever winds up on the bottom, I use to mix in. Like I, I use it on the bottom of the cup. I'm going to use some Mount Olympus, which is another custom CDTC color. It's an opal mixed with a hollow gold. And it's almost the consistency of sanding sugar, y'all. It's super, super fine. And then I'm going to take Leto. I absolutely adore Mount Olympus, Kimberly. And then I think I'm gonna go in one more time with Angelia, but we're gonna we're gonna do it over the white. So you're gonna catch a lighter throw of it. Alright, so that's going to cover that, and I'm literally just going to take my glitter from the bottom, and just like smush it onto the bottom of the cup. Okay, and then we have one more to do guys, one more. Is it going to be a radical? No. Oh. Oh, you're going to be a and if you take your fall off, then you wind up with a really awesome custom mix that you can use on something else. Mother Francis. Oh, that was close. Oh, that was close. Y'all, I almost lost my cup and my epoxy. She's singing and singing songs. That's fine. Okay, so this one's gonna come over here, out of the way. I have one more standalone turner that I'm pulling up here. And we're going to take our purple and yellow cup. I'm 
I'm going to go in the stock room because I need another bag of Mount Olympus. All right, got a bag of Mount Olympus because I needed more. Yes, that's the only kind we have. I'm going to move this stuff out of my way real quick because I need to be able to push this turner back some. my glove so that I can epoxy this cup. I don't know what was wrong. There we go. And my epoxy is still workable just barely enough. Plastic, Lessie. Over here. Y'all can see how hard it's getting to work. Which is when, like I said, you wind up using a whole hell of a lot more than you want to. and you've really got to push to work it up your cup. Whoever's still with me, let me know. Say hey. Making sure I get some on the bottom here. Yes, please cut up her hot pocket. And now I'm going to hurry up, take some Mount Olympus, stick it in here. Get a popsicle stick. And then it's going to go into a birth bear. Grab a wipe to grab the outside of that cup with. And it's going to go into the bottom of this one. Because this one isn't done being poured. I've done nothing but light colors in this bear. It's got Hebe, it's got Monocaris. So in keeping with that theme, Mount Olympus is going in it.
Clean off my hands. And we are going to get to glittering this one. This one, I'm going to take Hecate. Which is our deep, deep purple from the October box that everybody raved about. No. And then I'm going to take Angelia. see a spot I'm gonna have to move some epoxy on and then I'm gonna take Aristeus which is that mustard color from the November box. Which is going to make a perfect gold for the LSU colors. And then Mount Olympus. And I'm going to kind of let Mount Olympus like blend into the purple some too. And then I'm going to go back in with Hecate again. This is where it gets kind of tedious because you're just constantly waiting for the cup to turn back to you. I need to get Angelia out again.
Aristeus. and Mount Olympus. So that covers all of the colors that are going on to you need the, the TV can be turned up in a few minutes baby okay and then I'm gonna take my colors again and I'm just gonna hit the bottom of that cup because we don't like naked butts at least not in this instance I'm gonna take another salad dressing cup because that's what I use for these and I'm going to roll up my paper that I used as my catcher and pour the excess in there and that is it for the night. So that concludes tonight's live with starting tumblers. As you can see, there's still a lot more to do. You have to flood coat. And whenever I do the flood coats on <laughs> my Milky Ways is whenever I do my micas and whatever additives I'm going to stick in there to turn it into said Milky Way. Right now I'm just patting that chunky glitter into the epoxy. Because it sat for so long until I got to this point, it's good and tacky right now to receive that glitter laying down. And I'm gonna do that on this one that I have spinning over here too. And this one has a lot more chunky on it. Because you want that chunky glitter to lay flat. The flatter that you can get it to lay, the better off you are whenever you go to flood coat because then you're not having to overcompensate in areas where it's bumped up more, where it's sticking up, where you feel like you're going to have a foreseeable problem. So that is the very first part of beginning your tumblers. And I was able to get a lot of work done showing you guys what to do. Thank you to everybody that tuned in and stuck with me the whole time. Thank you to everyone that watched. Uh, that's not a dark blue. That's a dark purple, Jordan. Uh, you can see it better now that I have the light on. Um, the name of the dark purple is called Hecate. It's on the site www.cdtcrafts.com if you are local make sure that you put in all capitals at checkout the code local and you won't have to pay for shipping uh, it's an awesome awesome metallic purple it is absolutely gorgeous like I was saying I'm going to hop out of here because it is way past the bedtime for me <laughs> And I've got little ones that need to go to bed. They've got school. So I hope everybody has a good night. I will probably try to go live on Tuesday or Wednesday. 
oh no, I'm maybe Tuesday, so that I can get started on the next part of these. Yes, Lisa, you definitely need to paint the cup first, and you want to paint it typically the corresponding color of your glitter or something very close to it. I hope this helped. Um, if anybody has any questions, as always, feel free to message me, ask in the group, um, ask any one of the admin team, and we have your back 150 million percent. I will see you guys next time. Look for the next live. Um, I think Miss Cody's going live tomorrow night. Uh, I'm not sure what she's doing on the live. But if you go and you check in our events tab in CDT Crafts Main, you will see what she's going live for. I'll see you guys later. Good night.